Well, you guys, I think in this next video, in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to build some LED lights for the bandsaw while I wait for the other parts to come in. Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Now the plan is to use the existing screws right here and put in something here and have a rod that comes down where I can put the LEDs to cast onto the blade while I'm cutting stuff. So it's been adjudicated and decreed. I'm gonna use junk out of this. <laughs> Extra pieces that I have laying around here. So yeah. So you guys know what this thing is here, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut off this piece, cut off this nub right here. So I've just got this arc. All right, so now that I got those pieces cut off of there, I'm going to take my welder and uh, I'm going to take this bar. I'm going to weld that bar right there. Yeah, see? got a wire with some connectors hooked up here so for my positive and negative and these are the LEDs that I'm using these are the you can purchase these off of eBay or Amazon they're just little LED light panels that you can put up inside your like uh, dash or whatever and I got two of them connected here so let's stick them on that hanger push push and I'll hold them there for the sticky stuff to work because I don't know how long the sticky stuff is gonna work because this stuff has been uh, sticky stuff has been exposed for a while I might have to actually put glue on this thing yeah <laughs> I don't have any more double-sided sticky tape so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out with that but zip tie these back these on oh my god All right, so we got these two little things, and let's go put this on. See, I put some epoxy on there, and uh, yeah, I'm holding it on there with these two little clamps right now. So, yeah. Now, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking these two screws out. We're putting, the, putting these... All right. Uh. Huh. Uh, 
grab some more twist ties. This one, and this one, and yeah, another one. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm gonna wait on the rest of this of wiring this up because once I get the other re replacement parts and everything, I I might end up zipping this right onto the motor plate. But here, let's test it out. Uh, let's see if it'll stay if I take that off. Take these off. Okay, let me grab my battery quick. Clip off those tabs uh, thought I had a pair of scissors around here somewhere see it's such a mess that oh here we go this will work and the battery let's go test it out okay so negative negative and positive Oh, look at the beauty. Huh. And once I put the plate in here, yeah, kind of conforms right around the blade. I can rotate it. Put a piece in there. See? Like my sound effects and everything? Yeah. Now what I'll probably do is I'll get one of those little uh, power supplies. And instead of running it off the battery, I'll run this wire up underneath and connect it to the switch with a little transformer underneath there so when I hit the switch to turn the turn this on or maybe I'll even put in a secondary switch somewhere maybe I don't know but turn the switch on and this will uh, the light will turn on but yeah <laughs> oh come on Harbor Freight send me those dang replacement parts I think it'd be kind of neat to be able to convert this thing over to like, you know, uh, having fluid roll on the blade and everything, so, I don't know. We looked at some of that stuff on the last live stream, so, there's that option. Let me give you guys another real quick look at it. See, it's connected right there. The hinges for the plate. The wire goes right up over. Comes down. Voila. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to start using this thing. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of that. Bye-bye.